I'm Mrs. Evans and I am trying my second vlog and today's vlog is going to be about Tarsia puzzles. Intro! Just kidding, I still don't know how to do that. Um, so Tarsia puzzles are these, um, these puzzles that students can put together. So there is a program online called Tarsia and I will put a link down below of how to get to the software because you have to download it but it's free and you could probably use the same software to do like vocabulary activities because what you do is you cut these all out I recommend cutting them out for your students because mine will take 25 minutes to cut this out so I have them pre-cut out for them um, and in little bags already on their desks when they come in so that they don't spend forever cutting them out and look they're not perfect and it drives some of them nuts that I have these little, these little edges that aren't perfectly cut. And they want to cut them off and I don't let them. Um, so how these puzzles work is each puzzle piece has some answers, which are here, and some problems, which are here. And they have to figure out how the answer to this pro where the answer to this problem is. So it is somewhere in the rest of these. So they and their teammates have to solve these problems. In this case, it is factoring quadratics to find solutions. And they could have um, they could have found the solutions by more than just factoring, actually. Quadratic formula and complete the square and all of those. So they put the puzzle pieces together. And once they put all the puzzle pieces together, they get this lovely hexagon. <laughs> So, there's a bunch of different shape options on there. This is their biggest one, I think. Um, this had 30 questions. And then it had the possibility of 12 distractors. So, if you notice here at the top, I, these are blank. So, they give you the option of putting an, an answer or a problem there to distract the students because they don't know if, which ones go together to begin with. So maybe they get an answer to this problem here, and there isn't that answer anywhere in here. So it can it can increase the level of difficulty of some of these puzzles. If you wanted to do differentiation and give your lowest students, I shouldn't say lowest students, your least proficient students, um, an easier puzzle because you could, a program actually allows you to just do the centerpiece, um, these six. So if you wanted to do an easier puzzle for some of your students, this puzzle for some of your students, and then the puzzle with the distractors for some of your students, that would be a way of differentiating. So if you notice, uh, this problem, the answer, is right there, and they just tape them together. So it's a really simple to explain idea. It's really, really difficult for the students to grasp the first time they do these, especially if you're not asking them to do something where they have to think often, because they're going to have to figure out the answer, and then they're going to have to find it, and then they have to put it together. And if it was wrong, if they've made a mistake, and they got an answer that didn't work, and they put them together, they're going to have to take this apart later and figure out how, which way to take it apart and which ones were wrong and how to fix it and it's it's a very rigorous i hate that word but it is it's a rigorous activity um, for the students to practice their math skills you make your own so i've i've made one with graphs you can insert images into this um, if you wanted to make it a vocabulary activity you would have to have short definitions but you still could because you, you would still have the word on one side and the the definition on the other and you can make the, the writing teeny tiny if you needed to and I, I just really love these we've done three of them this year my math eight students have done two my algebra one students have done three and this is this isn't their favorite activity that we do because this takes more thinking and they don't like to think for some reason um, they like to crocodile Dennis and they like to trash ball a little bit more than they liked this but I had I had a good amount of students that liked this so you know 
Uh, I hope that you'll subscribe and that you'll follow me at Super Evans Math on Twitter. And thank you for watching.